Hello everyone, Matt here, Paul Offshore Fishing. Uh, real quick, I know a couple weeks ago, or I guess a couple, two weeks ago, I did some shore fishing um, out in the waders. Actually did pretty good at, there at lunchtime. However, uh, halfway through I realized I had a hole in my waders and I pointed out it's right here in that boot. So now I got a, it's kind of nasty right now, not, not doing, uh, hadn't been doing much fishing here lately. Hopefully, uh, We'll get a few nice days here later in the week. But in the meantime, I need to go ahead and patch these waders up. Uh, what I ended up doing is going by Walmart. And I just picked up a little tube of this. Uh, it's JB Super Weld. And it's great for steel, rubber, and most plastics, wood, and more. And the key word on there is rubber. Now, um, <clears throat> it's got a 10 second set time and a 24 hour cure time. And it's gonna be clear in color. Um, you can go get a boot repair kit. However, the boot repair the, the I can't talk right now. The boot repair kit that I looked at at the big box store down the road, I think it was like twelve or thirteen dollars. It might it might have been less. Um, I, I'm having a hard time remember. But this was only three dollars. So what I can do is just glob it on there and you know seal it up. Um, well, the big thing is, since these boots are rubber, you just need something that really pretty much seals and bonds up rubber. So, with that, we're going to go ahead and open this up. <coughs> and it's just your normal stuff, as far as... Uh, now, what you're going to need to do is get a pair of uh, cutters and cut that. So, let me go get uh, a pair of cutters out of my bag right there, and uh, we'll uh, get to patching this thing. All right, actually, after some further review, there is actually a little hole that's in it, so I didn't need to get the cutters, but pretty much what we're gonna do, now, one of the things I looked at, it, I didn't peel it back, but I cleaned up the boot a little bit. It looks like that the fabric of the lining of the boot is still there, and that's what it felt like. So, I mean, we can put a little dab in there to kind of get it to pop down, but the big thing is we need to get it to seal this right here and kind of glob it on there and it's going to be reminiscent of an actual weld you would do on steel, but that's going to fill that up. And like I said, I didn't put a whole lot on it and let that seal up. And I'm going to cap this. It's like I said, has a 10 second set time. So we're going to let that seal up and make sure that it's, you know, if it's going to find the cracks due to gravity. So we're going to let it set in there and let it absorb a little bit for those 10 seconds. Now, what you can do, and I wouldn't do it with my finger, but you see where it's got a little run right there? If you ha if uh, you had like a latex glove or a rubber glove, you can dab that little run right there. That's why we're going to hold off a little bit and let it set up a little bit before we put another application on it. So I'm going to go grab uh, something I can dab that with, and uh, we'll finish this little repair up. Like I said, it's not real hard. The, the, hard, the longest part of this thing is actually going and getting this product. Now, like I said, it's... It's just, you know, it's quick and easy off the shelf, and it has a pretty good, um, from my understanding, JB Weld has a pretty good reputation on, you know, the two-part epoxies. Um, but, yeah, let me get this while it's uh, still somewhat uh, viscous. All right, we let it set up for a little bit. I did go back. I had a piece of, I kind of repositioned the boot because it was kind of down at an angle. I got it a little bit more flatter because when I was looking down at the side there, it didn't look like that little tab was quite down all the way. So we're going to go ahead and do another application and try to keep a bead up here on that edge and follow where the, the little split where the hole was. And just kind of, like I said, work, work it in and do like a, a weld like you would on steel. Now, I am not a steel welder by trade, so, uh, you know, I do the best I can, so to speak. So, but that's pretty much it. I'm going to watch it make sure it doesn't run, and then uh, from there, the moment of truth, uh, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to go try it out uh, here later this week. Uh, maybe I could do some uh, lunchtime fishing at the tides are right. Uh, here Friday or uh, 
we can try to go Saturday. I did find out that there is a uh, kids little peer tournament uh, going on this weekend on Saturday and uh, what I'll pretty much I'll probably end up taking my boys. I think it's two bucks per child. I think uh, as long as the weather's nice I know uh, my two little guys would enjoy that and it'd be some great memories. Um, and like I said, we're, we're not too uh, <clears throat> we're, we're not too high powered at it right now at our age. Just long, as long as we're having fun and uh, that, that's all that matters. And we don't catch ourselves or have a trip to the emergency room. <laughs> it makes it all worthwhile. So with that, everyone, I hope uh, <clears throat> this video has helped you out. Uh, like I said, this this little product so far, two applications on it. You don't don't rush it, but two applications on it. Want to let it set up overnight, and then like I said, try it out and see if it it stop that leak. I'm pretty positive, pr pretty positive that it's going to do it. So with that, I hope everybody has a good night, and we'll catch you next time. Take care. Ooh, come on.